Hello everyone, today I'm gonna do uh, for the problem 3 largest subprime factor. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, problem 3, this is a, uh, we will found, we will find the largest prime factor. So, for example, they will we have the prime factor uh, um, 13,195, uh, 5, 7, 13, and 29. What is the largest prime factor of the given numbers? Uh, so, and they will have uh, some example here for us. I, forget, I will copy it for you guys and see it here. Okay, and then they will give this. Will they give this one the largest prime factor to should return two and the largest from factor three should return three and have a sub another special case i will i think you should know this the largest from factor uh eight should return two also okay here we need to know about what is a prime number is prime number is a natural number greater than one that is not a product of two small natural numbers it means the prime number only have a two factors that is one and itself okay let's get a look at the examples Here we can see 2 is a prime because it only have a 2 factor that is 1 and 2. 3 also is a prime because it also have a 1 and 3. However, we can see 4 it has 3 prime factors. 1 multiple 2 multiple 2 that is 3 prime factors and it not a prime number. Okay? Otherwise, we have a, a special case. Uh, some people have a misunderstanding about this number. Okay, uh, some people will um, analyze the eight number like this: one, multiple two, and multiple four. And we can see here four is not a prime factor because we have a uh, the problem here: the largest prime, largest prime factor right so we can see this uh a it must be equal to one uh multiple two multiple two multiple two and here uh a only have a uh two prime factors okay i think you guys can understand this uh problem Okay, and now we will go to the, how to address this problem in a Python language. We have this. Pram, uh, we have a largest. Largest Pram factor. Of a number, right? We put a number here. I will put the first of prime factor. Okay, prime factor. The default we must get it in one. And we have another variable put e equal to two. And we put the while loop here, e it must less or equal than n divided by e. Because why? Because you can see the two four, it must be two, it must be one, and uh multiple by two so that y is not cannot run until n so we need to uh, have a only run by 
another uh, only by run only two interact to n divided by e okay so we have a e n divided by divided by e and remainder equal equal to zero and the ground factor here equal to e so e right so easy right we have an n equal to n divided by e else else we will uh, raise e by one Okay, e equal e plus one. Okay, out of the while loop, we have this it brand factors smaller less than uh, n. The brand factor equal to n. Then we return brand factor. Okay, let's get started with how we check this one. We will check this one. We have a larger brand factor. We will put uh, two here, and also we can put. Um, here we have a put two three a okay two three a okay so e e equal to this one is not Inspect identify e in t e equal to this one and plot. Let's see here why n is not. Put n here why is is not defined. Mm -hmm. Let's return this one. Okay. I forgot to the identify here. So here. Okay. So let's uh, run it. We have a CD euro one and quite an uh, larger you can see it I run from bring the largest factor two is uh, it is two and three is three it's return three and uh, we can see here the largest parameter eight is return two yeah I already uh, I trust this problem three of FICO chem Okay, thank you for uh, watching. Please like, subscribe to my channel. I will make some more video for the problems on FICO Chem. Thank you so much.